Well, you want to know my personal opinion about winter, the weather? Okay, uh, do I? Uh, now, first of all, I grew up in the 1970s. And I started school in 9 August 1969. And I can remember going to school during the winter. Man, it was cold. You know, all through the 1970s, winter was brutal. Okay, let's, let's fast forward 45, 50 years. Do I think our winters are as long? No. No. And that's from my personal experience. I've lived through many a winters. Cold winters. I can remember nearly 60, 60 winters. Uh, we still have the cold to them for maybe a couple weeks, but the longevity of winters now, from my experience, is shorter. I don't see the longevity, brutal winters like I used to. No. That's my personal opinion. And I've experienced a lot of winters. <coughs> You know, well, like I said, I grew up in the 1970s, and boy, it could... The 1970s. <laughs> you've heard, of the, old, you've heard, of, you've heard of, of the old expression, coder in a witch's tit. <laughs> that was the 1970s. I remember them well. Boy, it could get cold. You think it's cold today? You think it's cold today? Think again. You got it easy today. Trust me. I grew up in the 1970s. You got it easy today. You don't know what a hard winter is. Because you're not old enough. Especially if you was born uh, af uh, after 1980. You don't know what a cold winter is. Trust me. Oh, it just chill you to the bone. And then we'd get to school. <laughs> Even the first, my dad one time was taken off to work in the morning. Even my dad one time mentioned, what, he asked my mom, why are they having school? It's too cold. We went to school, you know, anyway. It'd be so, you know, even the furnace had trouble. You'd go into your classroom and the desk would be ice cold. That was the 1970s going to school. And I remember that too well, too well. You would accidentally touch your arm or your elbow. You know how it is? You sit down in the seat and you touch your arm or elbow to the desk. It, it, your, your arm would almost stick to it to be that cold. The furnace, it would take the furnace half a day to catch up. My dad was right. Why are they having school today? It's too cold. I look back at it. He was so right. And just the way our school system was. It was hard to close our schools. Six inches snow on the ground, we still had school. Seven inches, I think one time we had seven inches snow on the road and they closed it. Five inches, we, we still went to school. It ain't like today. Today they get a dusting, they close schools. Not in my days. You get, you'd have to get six, seven inches before they even think about closing. But God... Our winters were long. One thing I hated about growing up in the 1970s. Our brutal winters. God, they were cold. Cold, cold, cold. That's why I love, that's why I love heat. I love 110 degrees a day. I got so tired of the brutal cold winters growing up. I mean, I don't like heat. Any, I don't like heat either. I'd rather have it 115 than I would zero. Especially zero in the 1970s. Man, it was cold. 
But of course, spring, boy, our 19, uh, growing up in the 70s, our springs were God's, our springs made you forget all about that ugly winter that had passed. Our springs were just gorgeous, 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 gorgeous weather. I think our springs were a lot better than what they are today. When our, when our spring season would come around when I was a kid, teenager, 1970s, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous weather. Birds singing. But until then, our brutal, harsh winters. Oh, they were brutal. One thing I hated about growing up in the 1970s, you froze your butt off, literally. It was, winters were rough. I just, oh God. You know, today, you know, roads are clean pretty quick. Back in my days, roads would stay snowy for a few, several days. You know, today they got high-tech salt they put on the roads. The, the DOT, the, the road department, back in my day, snow stayed on the roads for three or four days. But, uh, I mean, overall, I, I loved growing up in the 1970s, overall. But, God, I hated the winters. Whew. 